Hey guys, here for another Emphatic Fury War Recap. This time we got the Moochers, uh, another random spin, uh, checking to break down. You can see this was not a, an even war. Uh, we had uh, some advantage, of course. Uh, but anyway, uh, outstanding performance from our guys. Awesome 9v9. Uh, we managed to, to scout all the Town Hall 10s and even one Town Hall 11, so only four bases needed to get two hits uh, to be cleared on the 9s. All the others were fresh uh, cleared. Uh, if the Moochers are, are watching this video, <laughs> I would advise uh, not put the uh, Expos walkable. They have uh, some bases with uh, walkable Expos, and that's a very weak point on the Town Hall 9 uh, defenses. So they need to improve that aspect of the of the game. Um, well, uh, four 10 v tens, great hits, uh, amazing performance from from the guys. Ten v eleven, uh, always hard, but uh, we managed to to do the the job, get the two stars. Um, in the end of the war, we even uh, improved uh, some more percentage on base one. Uh, so awesome, awesome hits. Um, 11 v 10 dips, uh, perfect. Uh, so uh, great war. And this will be a, a long one, a long recap. So if you want to see all the replays, I would advise to to grab a, a drink and uh, enjoy the the hits. I'll show. All the 10 v 11 triples. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't show the um, low percentage hits, but those are probably the the hardest. So this time I'll show uh, the th the three uh, 10 v 11s, the four 10 v 10s, and then uh, some town hall nine hits. Also, uh, I could even show more. We had great hits, but uh, can show them all. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, and I hope the, our guys keep kicking as they did in this war. So let's go. Quick look at the stats in game stats uh, 27 triples uh, versus uh, 19. They struggled a lot, uh, even on the, on the dips. Um, on our side, uh, as you can see, uh, Shaikh even had. Uh, to 11 v 11 uh, attempts uh, because we we already had the other bases cleared. So uh, Kuban Miller with a perfect uh, dip on 11 v 10, and then uh, had a migraine, so uh, he only did one hit because we don't we don't didn't need the the, the his second attack. Uh, Holly Gator here with a six pack 10 v 10. Awesome, awesome. Uh, this guy is pure talent. <laughs> That's what I can say. Really enjoy seeing the his his rates. Then we got high bites. Joe here with a six pack. Mr. Master is particularly Vic, license um, also with a six pack. Justin with a six pack. Flying Serpent also and Batman. Uh, so nice, nice hits. Uh, by our guys. Here you can check the maps on our side. They left some town hall tents. On their side, uh, two stars on the town hall 11s. They only had three, and then everything cleared uh, with triples down. So let's just hit the replace. Hannes here improving uh, the perform the percentage on this uh, race. Already had the two stars, but uh, he had no more town hall tens to hit, and the town hall elevens all had two stars already. So he decided to try to improve here the percentage, and he did it with this nice hit. So scout room there for the to protect the healers basically. <laughs> Nice funnel there with uh, some goblins and a giant tanking. Archer Queen with a real charge there with the 
I guess he wanted the Archer Queen uh, to charge, but he opened the other side uh, with a bunch of uh, of wall breakers. So he will create there uh, a really nice funnel with the Archer Queen, and he will use the the first compartment open to to send the go ball out. I'll speed up this a bit. So Archer Queen needing to use the ability there because of the Inferno, of course, and he just let her die. Meanwhile, the Gobo part with a couple of Valks to clear and get percentage on that side. And as the the button is created, it just sends uh, the other Valks with two jumps and a rage leaving everything to the town hall as you can see it's a um, golem on the cc but all the vox uh, got wrecked by the the breakdown breaking of the golem but you can see some vox outside getting some more percentage with the wizard behind bk uh, tanking there in the in the core trying to to go and get some more and yeah, he sent a, a, a goblin and some archers up there to <laughs> to get more some more percentage and finally your king breaks in but yeah, nothing he could grab anymore but a great hit anyway here by Honest improving the, the percentage on the base this was not uh, an easy one, we had to hit this base sometimes, but in and out here with uh, his Real Madrid account uh, getting the jump done. So he sent some archers, but there's a, a skelly trap, so as they get the, the builder hut, the skellies will come and get the, the archers. He sent uh, Minion there to make sure he, he got that uh, the funnel created on that side. Try to get the the skeletons with uh, some more archers, but they didn't make it. So he sends one Valk uh, to help there with the funnel because he wanted the Archer Queen to start um, at that spot. So giant there to tank and the uh, test wall breaker and some more behind. So, uh, that's screen charging there, as he opens the wall. He tried to open the intersection so Archer Queen couldn't uh, move, but uh, all breakers will hit the wall with, with uh, some structures behind and as uh, they had nothing there, they break a bit ahead, but Archer Queen with the help of a rage uh, kept going and opened the wall. Meanwhile, uh, Golem and Ballers to get there uh, some more percentage and create in the funnel also. Archer Queen dealing with the CC hounds and the poop the pups. Meanwhile, Eagle Artillery starts shooting, but uh, he uses the last rage on the Archer Queen because he really needed to, to get uh, a funnel on that side, so without funnel, nothing would uh, reach the town hall. And while Archer Queen is uh, there dealing with the uh, Eagle, he sends the jump, uses the ability to get eagle, and then uh, with a, a nice uh, button there for the Vox and BK, they will go and uh, get the town hall and uh, some structures around. BK there to, to help the 
the Vox and there he goes uh, getting the, the final percentage and the two sides on this base the penguin here with a with a cool hit also uh, Eliana uh, I think it was Brayden who did this uh, attack so uh, taking some HP there from the core structures and then with the golem and some more breakers <coughs> They have to tank for the Archer Queen. Uh, he knew it was a uh, Hound Loon CC, so Archer Queen uh, doing her part here away from the the Hound, creating there a, a nice funnel on that bottom side. He will use the Archer Queen ability and Royal Cloak, uh, so getting some more percentage and uh, creating their nice funnel as you can see then time for the second golem uh, another test wall breaker nicely sent then some more to open the wall as the golem enters uh, some raging powers came behind creating the, the funnel at uh, 9 with uh, a bit of 10 o'clock and then another uh, golem with a couple of box uh, to go ahead and a bunch of bowlers uh, all walking towards the, the town hall with a nice funnel created rage to get them quickly there and uh, the freeze to hold the inferno first inferno power shots so bk walk, uh, walking on the town hall and uh, some more ballers behind getting some more percentage there but he he brought uh, a couple of uh, baby jacks so they can can take could take the, the final percentage uh, that was needed as you can see and a great job uh, on this space here by Bray okay so uh, 10 v 11 uh, it's done let's go and let's get into the 10 v 10 action so we have llama here with an equi charge fox with some backhand loons amazing hit uh, nice lord there that's why it's not a very good idea to have the CC able to get lured by a, a troop while Archer Queen is dealing with the, the Hound Loon CC with the help of a wizard he was, he was uh, cleaning some structures and creating the funnel Minion there to help uh, get the pups so he, he won't lose uh, much more time there bunch of wall breakers opening the, the wall on that corner as you can see so Rage Archer Queen will get first there uh, to get the pass through the gold storage also getting uh, some nice Teslas there Archer Queen ability so Archer Queen gets the Inferno and the Archer Queen and then another rage to keep uh, keep uh, Archer Queen going, poison there to the BK, and he immediately starts Hawks as the Expos are busy with the Archer Queen. It's a great uh, great job there. Heal and uh, freeze for the Inferno, getting also the the Expo and really high value on that freeze. Meanwhile, BK tanking outside as you can see so the hogs uh, can go smoothly some skellies uh, working on the hogs but he had a big amount of hogs and outside the range of the air defense some backhand loons 
as the other defenses are destructive. Uh, you can see the defenses are going down, and then the Hawks will take the Escalis. Nice wizards here doing the cleaning. This does a, a really great job by Lama. Nice 10 v 10 triple. And then uh, for final, he gets the the last structures. Okay, next he got alligator with uh, his first 10 v 10. Here with a nice beside heroes Lalo. You will see great value uh, with the uh, suicide heroes on this uh, base. So VK down, uh, cleaning and uh, creating the, the pattern for the queen with the help of a baby joint there. Test wall break and getting the, the bomb and then some more to come to open the wall. As BK keeps moving Archer Queen, you'll get inside and you'll grab the, the Inferno. And just before the CC Hound comes, she pops the ability. Nicely done. BK versus BK action there. <laughs> Then uh, just an archer to get the corner head and to put the hound away from the lalo portion of his race. Uh, really nice job here by Gator. Amazing air attacker there with the Skellis, as you can see, to deal with the heroes with the help of some pups, of course. They didn't get the Archer Queen, as you can see, but she has not much more life there, so as a, a pup starts shooting her, we'll get her. And then with a, a bunch of wounds, they will, will overhelm this, this space, while the CC Hound and Loon are there watching everything being wrecked great hit by Gator here you will see him yeah, in a few moments again in action uh, but first you will see Bubby also with a, an awesome hit here with the Suicide Heroes Dragons with a mini Lalo uh, also a very valuable Suicide Heroes and then uh, a mini lower to get uh, the other air defenses, the remaining ones. So starting here with uh, some archers uh, to clean the uh, trash. And also start uh, creating the funnel. Boulder bounce there to get uh, that martyr. Also need to be careful with the mortars and the outside structures. As the panel is being created, it sends BK ahead. Giant there to tank so the, the wall breakers can go and open the wall. Test first and then some more to, to open the wall. So the Archer Queen can uh, go inside uh, to grab two air defenses while BK is doing a, a nice clearing on the other side. Also really valuable yeah, suicide heroes here as you can see. Nice uh, nice job there. So it's time for the dragons to get into the action. With the help of some some loons, this was a 
cleaning attack so he knew where the, the traps were. Nice rage there to get uh, into the core quickly and getting the Archer Queen with the heal waiting for all the drags almost. Then you can see in the top uh, a mini Lalo with some hastes to get into the, the top portion of those uh, defenses. Nice job getting the defenses so the, the drags can keep going. A freeze hold the uh, inferno just as the as he needed while the the loons come and also get the, the inferno and then it's just a, a matter of cleanup with a awesome hybrid attack here by Bubby. Great hit and then the fourth and last 10v10. Here by Alligator, also with the Dragon's attack, but this time with an AQ charge, as you will see. And he will even smack yeah, the spell. So, uh, funnel being created, uh, taking advantage of the baller bounce there with a giant tank on the other side. Flaring here the CC with the hog. So Archer Queen will deal with the uh, Houndloon CC outside of uh, heavy fire. He sent there the minion, but uh, the air defense will get it. But you can see the baller also coming here and getting the, the funnel created nicely. It could have used the, the wizard to help the Archer Queen, but yeah. as he sends the wall breakers, he needs to use their uh, to, uh, the rage. They could open the wall because they split, uh, but it uh, wouldn't matter because Archer Queen would need the, the rage anyway. So she gets inside uh, that compartment, gets the Tesla farm in her way. That's very valuable there. And as she goes out, uh, he sends BK to, to help funnel the outside structures and then with uh, the dragons to, to aim immediately for the inferno, the first one, while the other drags with the help of some wounds and a rage uh, just get into the base. Another rage uh, in the core to get everything fast and powerful to get uh, the second inferno and as they go another rage so Drax almost raged all, all of the raids some hasted looms there to get uh, another air defense nicely done and as the Archer Queen is uh, distracted and uh, BK and Dragons are clearing the remaining defenses uh, he manages to swag a, a rage. Great, great job by Gator, and this was a, another awesome triple. So we can now go to the 99 action, starting here with Walker with a make you walk, uh, go boho with a shattered entry. Very dominant raid, uh, walkable expo. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> so, watch your queen starting there, dealing with the hound with the help of a wizard. He's working here on the outside trash already with some minions and a goblin. Pre funneling, of course. Poison around the Archer Queen as she deals with the pups.
Meanwhile, Golem and Wizard set in 10 o'clock, creating a nice funnel there. So Watcher Queen will walk uh, clockwise. Poison there for the Queen, but it was a bit late, so he needs to use the Watcher Queen ability. With a nice funnel created on the left side, he sends another Golem on the right side with some more Wizards to, to funnel. He jumps in to the Wizard Tower compartment, so he will get access to the uh, this expo and these defenses. And he also has a, a second jump, so everything will be able to keep going. Meanwhile, Archer Queen is tanking for the expo, so uh, a couple of hogs will deal with the dead expo back there. It's all by herself, or itself. Nice giant bomb triggering there by the, the barbs. And as everything keeps uh, going, as you can see, he still had seven uh, hogs that he could probably swag all of them. But just to speed up things, he will send uh, some of them there. And then he, he will have uh, five more. It's basically a swag, out swag, here by Walker, with a nice hit. And now we have 23. Batman got the six pack, but this was a stone hobo. With a nice hit that you will get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tiles, loads of jump uh, to get uh, into this expo compartment, getting access to the Archer Queen. Yeah, that's basically an invitation. Nice funnel being created as he sends uh, two golems. Then he sends the third one. Wizards uh, will get the, the mortar at 3 as the golems go in and the funnel is created. BK and Baldur send Archer Queen behind, uh, poison on the CC troops, right there to get everything going. Uh, and then uh, immediately he uses a heal to keep them uh, so they can continue. Meanwhile, he starts the uh, hogs while the kill squad is uh, distracting some defenses in the core. Skell is there to getting the, the hogs, but as they go to the to the core, the other troops will hit the the skellies. He still had there uh, some hogs in the heal, and also were poison, so. Those skellies will no bother longer, so it's just a matter of cleaning uh, Archer Queen. He didn't even need the, the ability, so very dominant right here by Batman. It is Stone Hobo. So, um, after seeing Lama on the 10v10, great action, we will see him again here with a cool hybrid attack too. This will be an AQ charge with a suicide queuing Lalo as the Archer Queen starts <laughs> immediately needs the, the rage because she started right there yeah, over a uh, Tesla farm. Death wall breaker. Uh, getting the, the other Tesla and then he needed to use the Archer Queen ability. He wanted to get probably these two air defenses uh, 
I think he only uh, manages to get one. Meanwhile, a funnel being created by archers and the baby track there. Then CC comes into the queen, so he needs to use the another rage along with the poison. So Watcher Queen gets the the first AD, and now he's working on the BK and the rage. But uh, as the rage ends up, he, I think he will not use any other. Rage on the Archer Queen because he wanted uh, the Rage for the Archer Queen killing if needed with the uh, Skellies as you can see. So he just lets Archer Queen get what she can get uh, at this point. <coughs> Test Wall Breaker there and then some Wall Breakers to help BK get into the Archer Queen compartment faster. And as he uses the ability, BK will deal there with the Archer Queen. And he starts the lower portion of the raid up there. Some minions uh, working there on the town hall. And then he uses the, the rage on the core. And then since the the Skelly spell uh, to destroy the wizard tower. Also nice, so the looms can come uh, without problem of being targeted by the wizard tower. So, a great hit here by Lama, even with some swagged looms. And the wall black. <laughs> uh, we will see two more. First one, Dice here with a grindstone. So four golems uh, with a nice uh, wizard funnel, as you can see. <coughs> he will use uh, two jumps here to get right into the compartments near the Archer Queen. First jump in as the funnel is. Uh, Created. Everything moving nicely with a nice funnel. Lots of tanking for those uh, boulders. Poison waiting for the CC troops and then a heal waiting for all the troops in the right in the core of the base. So boulders doing a great and valuable job there. Meanwhile, he sends some loons on the Archer Tower left behind. It's down. And uh, he's being here patient to send the last loons only when the defenses are being distracted by the kill squad troops and then into the Tesla farm. Uh, some hasted loons could have put that haste a bit more into the tunnel farm, but it won't matter anyway. Lots of loons. Archer Queen yet with uh, his ability, her ability. And from now, it's just a matter of uh, cleaning. So this was a nice base identification here by Dicey. With a nice job. And we will end up uh, with Flying Serpent here. Uh, with a Shattered Go Boho. With a, a nice swag of hogs. So two golems there to, ta to tank. While the wizards are creating the funnel. Everything moving into the Tesla farm that he just discovered it was there on the entry point. So, awesome. Always a bonus. Uh, then poison for the CC and rage. Get everything very quick into the core. Ballers there dealing with the, what they can. 
Meanwhile, you can see hogs coming and then uh, giant tanking for some more hogs. Nice poison there to get the uh, skellies. As BK joins the party there. Archer Queen keeps moving and he sends some more hogs. He still had two heals, as you can see at this point. So he uses one because of that giant bomb. You can look at the, at the troops that he still had at this point with only one cannon up. So it's just uh, a matter of cleaning bunch of troops uh, there to swag and even a, a heal spell. So really great hit here by Fine Serpent. There comes the Hawks. Or the Hawks Parade. Yeah, an amazing, amazing war for us after the, the last defeat. That's the, the best way to turn around things. I hope you have enjoyed the, the replays. And of course, as always, I hope to see you on the next recap.